what are we looking at? So this is a frequency table, right? It's a table that tells you about a particular kind of data, in this case it's doctor's visits, and how frequently those things happen, right? So these are different numbers of times that the doctor's been visited, and this is the number of people who've visited the doctor that many times, right? So there are five people who didn't see the doctor at all in that whole, I think it's a three month period, okay? There's six people who visited him once in that season, and 14 people who, and three people who, and so on, okay? So frequency, frequency is how many people or how many things have gotten this score, right? So this is number of visits, it could be a test score, it could be uh, an amount of income, it could be anything, okay? So let's have a march through this, right? You can see that we first want to know, this is part A, how many people are serving? So this is pretty easy, yeah, that's right. All I need to work out is the people were this column here, right? Frequency is uh, people, right? So I'm just gonna total them up, right? Let's just quickly go down. Five, 11, help me out. 25, 28, 33, 34, yep. So that's just me adding up this frequency column. 34, I think that's what I said, okay, so. That's how many people are surveyed in total, and that will come in handy when I'm working out um, the mean later on, because I've got to work out the average dividing by the total number of people. The median. How do I work out a median from this? If there are 34 people in total, right, where's the middle of that? Do you remember we thought a little bit about this before? Yeah, Nikon. Yeah, you had to arrange the numbers in order. Okay, so I want these in like, you know, ascending order. Yeah. I kind of already have an ascending order in that it's 0, 1, 2, etc. So that's really good, okay? But I need to know which score or scores are the median. Nathan, what would you suggest? Mm -hmm. Okay, so a reasonable guess is here, right? Like before I've even done any calculation. Because it seems like there's the most people there. This is kind of roughly in the middle. But how would I be certain? How would I go through a process where maybe the data is not so... Obvious. Any takers? Yeah, Brandon, what do you do? So, so you basically just cross off one, they cross off Okay, yep. Yeah. So you might remember, if I had a set of scores like this, 18, 19, 23, 40, 41. Okay, now obviously you can all see which one the median is because I've given you a nice small set. But you could get there by crossing off, crossing off, crossing off, crossing off, and then what's left, right? And the only reason why that's a bit of a challenge here is because Number one, it'll take a while. Number two, like these numbers might not match up ni nicely, right? Yeah. The one and the five, they don't match up, do they? Yeah. Um, once I do this, it's like, oh, I go a bit into here. Yeah. How far do I go in here? Do I? It gets a little unclear. Okay, so exactly right. So here's what I'm going to suggest, right? Do I have an odd number or an even number of scores? I have an even number of scores. So if I have an even number of scores, the median is not any particular score. It's halfway between the two middle scores. You see that? Okay. So how do I know which ones are the two middle ones? Yeah. You add three and four divided by two. Yep, so once I've got these, I'll take the average of those. So what I want here, right, for six scores is between three and four. For <coughs> 34 scores, I'm even gonna write this down. Right? The median is between which two scores? Mm. Now, to help you see, six scores, if I divide by two, that's to get halfway, right? That gives me three. And then I go one forward. That gives me the next one. Okay. So if I divide this by two, I get 17. Very good. 17th score. And the next one, which will be the 18th score. So now I can count. Now I can count, and I don't have to worry about crossing out or anything, right? So there's five, there's 11. Clearly the 17th score is going to be in here as we kind of anticipated, right? So 17th and 18th scores are both going to be here on two. Does that make sense? Cool. Now, the mean. Okay, so mean. Does anyone remember, by the way, there's a symbol for mean? Does anyone remember it? It's um, an X with a little bar over it. So sometimes you'll see that. How do we work out the mean? Here's where we're going to need this extra column in here, right? See how this is fx, the frequency, multiplied by however many visits there were, right? So I'm going to have to multiply these numbers across 
to get the total number of visits that the doctor's gotten. Right? So, help me out. Zero by five? Zero. 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 One by six? Six. Six. Two by fourteen? Twenty-eight. Nine. Twenty. Nine. Nine. Twenty. Twenty. And? Eight. Okay, fantastic. So, I want all the visits that the doctor has gotten. So, just like here, I'm going to need to add these up. Okay? Has anyone already worked it out? Do you want to do it? Six. Seventy-one. Seventy-one? 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 Okay. So, that's how many times the doctor has been visited all up. So, I can say 71 visits in total divided by what again? How many people did those visits? Right? So, what do you get? Let's actually get like a decimal for that. Can we get, you know, like one decimal place maybe? Two point? Yeah, good. I'm getting, um, I'm getting 2.08 something. Yeah. Uh, they haven't told us what to approximate, so I'm just going to leave that as it is. Does that match what we expected? Yeah. It does, right? Like, the vast majority of people have visited twice. So that's why this number is kind of close to that. It's a bit higher than two, because you have all these people. You even have a few people, you have one person, who's gone a whole load of times. Four times more than a normal person. Okay? So, we're almost finished now. Mode, that's an easy one. Most common. Which one's got the most common? It's, it's this guy, right? Because that's the most frequently noticed one. So, mode is also two. And last one, also a simple question. Range is about top, takeaway, bottom, eight. right? So it's eight. Eight, takeaway zero. Eight, take zero, that's eight. I think it's helpful as well to write down that it's takeaway zero, even though it doesn't change the number, because that shows you know where range comes from. It shows you know it's composed of these two numbers, okay?